We need artists to analyze the implications of recent scientific developments, to caution the dangers and help shape the research agendas of science. Artists have a moral duty to resist the incursions of mass culture and capitalism. Artists have a moral duty to resist the incursions of mass culture and capitalism. Artists have a moral duty to resist the incursions of mass culture and capitalism. We need artists to Television analyze the implications of recent mom. scientific developments, to caution the dangers of the research agendas of science. The only artists have a moral duty to resist the incursions of mass culture and capitalism. Artists have a moral duty to resist the incursions of mass culture talk. and capitalism. We artists did not have touch. a moral duty to you resist the incursions of mass culture and capitalism. Daddy. Artists have a moral duty to resist the incursions of mass culture and capitalism. Make me know. Similarly, Television. one wonders how Mussolini and Hitler's Make boys got away with such asshole behavior. Television. Television. Shut up, you hoes, and suck my cock. Dumb. That's right. Get down on your knees Television. and suck it. Television. I love you. Man. Man, man, Manhattan, blue curtains, magically, 14th Street, New York Television City, twinkle, amazing, still alive. Oh, spared the indignity of wasting Television shit and was my Tibetan monks ringing, ringing, ringing the bell. The only Given six months to live, Alan died fast and cool. Discarded, famous body, had. tasteful and terrific. Alan Bodhisattva, lucky death breath. Alan we died fast and cool. Lucky death breath, Alan died fast and cool. Lucky death breath, lucky death breath, lucky death breath. Clear, smooth face, face, Alan face. No glasses needed now, poet clearly drawn. Small sage petal white on pillow blossom. Blue curtains magically 14th Street. I asked Patty Smith, why are you still here? She, beak nose and ruddy face, still young with gray braids, strangely fifty, whispered, well, honestly, yes, honestly, my friend, Robert Maplethorpe, died in Boston like this, and I couldn't go to visit him because my husband was sick, so I wanted to be here. Ann Waldman flew in from Colorado, explained, The consciousness of Alan is still here, and when we move the body, the Shambhala Buddhist Center. It will be. But I couldn't hear the rest. I couldn't hear the rest. Orlovsky was wearing pants with tape measures, suspenders, affectionate, and destroyed. Oh, Maestro, Special Allen, I can't believe you took the time to talk to me. Who am I? Nothing. Nothing. Who am I? Nothing. Who am I? Nothing. Who am I? Nothing. But such a lucky motherfucker. Nothing. Immortality, you know it. Immortality, you know it. We went upstairs. I did my laundry directly above the corpse. It seemed odd, I know, but then Larry came back down and played his sax. A sad and beautiful improvisation. You came to me from out of nowhere. Alan seemed to like it. Then I begin to lament when I see the thee. When I see the thee, I begin to lament. When the Kiel, Comanche, and Apache delegates visited Washington in the spring of 1894. They made an earnest and successful request for some buffalo hair from the animals in the zoological park, together with some branches from the cedars in the grounds of the agricultural department to take home with them for use in their sacred base ceremonies.
space-time has three dimensions of space. Its metric is this one found by Schwarzschild. DS2, DDT2, D minus one, DRM2, RDO2. Explain gravity. Within a particle, the rotating energy without resting mass warps space-time thus creating mass at rest and volume. In other words, when we measure the mass of an audience, when we measure the mass of an audience by weighing it, when we measure the mass of an audience by weighing it, by weighing it, when we measure the mass of an audience by weighing it, when we measure the mass of an audience by weighing it, we are measuring as its mass at rest, the moving mass together with the resting mass of the particles that make it up. There is no such thing as an audience totally at rest. A moving audience is a resting audience. If it is confined to an infinitesimal volume, mass at rest is a relative constant. Yeah. 
clever turns of phrase both musical and verbal. She plays the piano with enormous authority and style. Encompasses Chopin, blues, ragtime, bebop, and beyond. And she brings to her vocal delivery a four and a half octave range, an extraordinary palette of tonal color and meticulous phrasing. A gorgeous blonde bombshell with a dynamite body, a magnificent voice, a wild sense of humor. She is an extremely intelligent Vassar graduate who can play four or five instruments and challenge every premise you might have had about her as she zips through her set. Her song selections are impeccably chosen. She has a dazzling voice. She is a superb singer, miles above most of her rock stars today. A comic mind. She turns excess and extravagance into an art form and anchors it with stunning simplicity. String theory has many beautiful qualities. It is super symmetric, so it can account for fermions as well as bosons. Drawing matter into an elegant picture in which particles attributes are seen as the vibrations of strings, like notes struck on the diverse wire, and it makes everything out of space. Strings are just curves. Space is easy to do. The central riddle of Genesis was somewhere. How can the universe have come into being? Wrote as Shakespeare put it. Nothing they know they can never win. It is Someday thus. God will bury them. 